Workiva stores our customers' most sensitive data and helps them get it to the places where it needs to go, whether that's filing with the SEC or reporting to their corporate board. Based on the sensitivity of the data that we hold and uh, what gets done with that data in financial markets, we have to have a very strong commitment to quality. We were looking for a way to test that was more holistic, more disruptive. We realized that the only way that we could determine where things break is through chaos tools. Gremlin as a tool makes it dead simple to run chaos engineering. They've helped us achieve more than we could have on our own. The Gremlin tool has actually been a, a joy for our team to adopt. Uh, the UI is simple, intuitive, easy to use. We work with uh, containers. Um, most of our services are written in Go. All of our persistence is on AWS. Stuff happens in the cloud. You can't control it. All you can do is make your systems resilient to those sort of outages by simulating them in advance. We moved our entire production container management platform from a homegrown system to Kubernetes with no downtime. Chaos testing gives us a lot more confidence that our software is gonna operate well in the cloud. It allows you to consider edge cases in ways that your code may go wrong, in ways that you did not previously consider prior to running a chaos experiment. The Gremlin team has been a wonderful part of us getting onboarded with chaos as a practice. The team was supposed to originally be temporary, but has delivered so much value so quickly. As a practice, we wanna keep doing it. If teams and software organizations are not looking at chaos testing, they're really perpetuating a blind spot in their understanding of their application. That's one of the things that, that uh, Gremlins really provided to us is things that were a blind spot, now we have a really good understanding of. If you want to kickstart your chaos practice without having to spin up a huge dedicated team to building out tooling, that's Gremlin.